I'm John Tachi. I'm Virtual Construction Manager for Gilbane Building Company in the Western Region. I'm currently working on the Maricopa County Court Tower as the Virtual Construction Lead for the Gilbane Ryan team. There are times during a traditional design process or a traditional construction process, you'll look at a set of drawings and you'll just scratch your head. You'll just go, I don't know what's going on here. Can, can someone explain to me what's happening? Because I don't know. It's a process that's a whole lot like a multilingual game of telephone. The architect comes up with an idea in their head. It's 3D. Then they write it on paper or on a computer as a drawing file, 2D. Um, and then they hand those drawings off to the builder. The builder looks at it, stares at the 2D, tries to build it in 3D, and then the building goes up and you wonder why it looks nothing like the original and that's why because there's been so many transfers of information and they're not clean. With BIM, we're changing our process. BIM is really a 3D model and an intelligent 3D model that is cut through a bunch of different ways. So you can click on something and it says, I'm a door, I'm attached to this sort of a wall and I occur 500 times throughout this building and I happen to be 50 times on this floor alone. So there's a lot of information both visually and also from kind of a, a database fashion as well. And we made the determination that even though there wasn't really a requirement for us to operate in this fashion that by going through and doing it in this new process, this virtual design and construction process, that was the only way that we saw a successful completion and execution of the design and construction phase. And then from there, we began to essentially trailblaze how we were going to exchange models, how we were going to communicate, how we were going to take traditional um, things that we would never dream about doing, having a builder work inside the architect's office, um, share the design model with the builder, in an interactive fashion. All of these things that historically were definite no-nos, we determined that we had an imperative. We had to do it if we were going to successfully design and then build. It's raising the bar across the industry for how we all communicate.